Powerball billionaires are probably way better for the economy than traditional billionaires. Well considering the taxes they got to pay, they are Powerball multi-millionaires instead. Edit did not expect all these upvotes, thanks all. There are no Powerball billionaires, because the government taxes them like they should real billionaires. I wish we considered money hoarding in the same category as hoarding anything else. It's a mental illness. How do you figure? Most billionaires don't actually have the money, it's either a reflection of their company's success or a result of a successful investment, which is used to expand business. Lottery winners historically blow money. Yes in the fact they are taxed at the highest rate allowable almost impossible to hide lottery gambling winnings. They also are more likely to pay sales tax on a lot of expensive products. But most will not start a company to employ hundreds if not thousands of people like most traditional billionaires. So no, they are not a net positive for the economy. Probably not. Considering most earned billionaires have created thousands upon thousands of jobs, productivity, development, pay more in taxes over a lifetime, and help grow the economy in general, a lottery billionaire is likely to not set up a will, die from hookers and blow and then give all the money back to the government. Why do they need to increase the jackpot by that much? Who seriously needs $1 billion? Separate it into chunks of $100 million or even $50 million and it will be even better for the economy. Even then, it's still too much for anyone or any family to have. Spending isn't better for the economy, it is the outcome of saving production. Understanding Say's law would be a good starting point. This is astronomically stupid. A lottery winner pays taxes once. A billionaire who has made his money legitimately will have likely built a company that will pay taxes, generate employment, which also pays taxes, contribute to the GDP and actually provide a product that the market wants. Yes, the multitude of jobs and innovations some billionaires have certainly brought us worse for the economy than some lucky drawing. Get real. Depends, I suspect traditional billionaires create more jobs and opportunities than Powerball billionaires, which is also good for the economy. If I ever strike it rich, I'd invest the money in entities focused on improvised society. I'd start my own too. Pay some legal schmoes to figure out a way to make sure that the company couldn't be operated in a way to make obscene profits to be paid out to investors or executives. Tradition billionaires create businesses that employ thousands, pay billions in taxes, and provide services products people use. Gambling billionaires pay a one-time tax on the income then redistribute earned money back to traditional billionaires. Powerball billionaires didn't earn it and will likely blow it all quickly on crap that doesn't help the world or economy. Traditional billionaires created companies that produce and create real value in the world and economy. Cocaine and hookers aren't taxed, so you're not really generating much revenue there. It gives heroin-addicted cousins something to strive for, why a no? If I won my plan was to keep 20m for family and donate the rest. No? Traditional billionaires own and run mega-businesses that employ thousands, and are the engine that keeps the economy going. They are awful for human rights, human decency, the environment, etc. But traditional billionaires are far better for the economy. The economy isn't literally as simple as lotto winners spend their money lol. 100 since most lotto winners blow all their money fast. That and the taxes reaped from getting it in a lump sum or the residuals from the longer payout go back into the local infrastructure. Usually, a billion-dollar business has to provide products and services that people use. If the business doesn't provide to society, then it never becomes a billion-dollar business. I'm sure some lottery winners do use their money to provide things for society or for people. But a lot don't. Powerball billionaires didn't give us Google, Apple, Amazon, and a million other goods and services that create jobs and benefit us on a daily basis. You're acting like traditional billionaires ended up with all that money for no reason. As they dump their billions back into the economy within a year? Totally. Many people with no money pour money into a fund received by a few with zero financial savvy. I guess it depends on what you consider better for the economy. 
that money is going to be spread far and wide, no doubt about that. I used to play Powerball when the jackpot would reach a certain threshold, but the more I thought about it, the more winning it sounded like a horror show. Apparently the first thing you're supposed to do when you win is lawyer up, because people will come out of the woodwork to sue you or otherwise lay claim to what you won. Though I've heard there are states where you can appoint an emissary to collect the winnings and remain anonymous. Doesn't work that way in my state everybody will know your name and where you're from. This comment section reminds me of Mac and Dennis talking about the economy and finances face with tears of joy. Not if you follow that train of thought to future generations. Yeah but having people go on mad spending sprees just cause they can is not so good on the old sustainability front. Yes and no. The economy needs consumption but it also needs investment. An economy where people aren't consuming experiences a recession. An economy where people aren't investing experiences a correction or market crash. The two are interrelated but distinctly different. A reduction in consumption and recession might convince investors to flee. A market correction might destroy consumer confidence. Just wait until there are a bunch of apes that finally have money. After lump sum and taxes, not actually billionaires either. Even your lottery system is a lie. Yeah, we're more creative. First, assuming I make away with roughly $1 billion out of the $2 billion, give or take a couple hundred million, I'm quitting my day job, buying my own place in Tahoe I'm going to be attempting necromancy on the whole city of Detroit cause damn, that place needs help. If you won a million dollars I would strongly suggest investing your money. If you won a billion dollars, go crazy. Unless you are buying mansions, yachts, or jets you will never run out. Nor dog rich people buy wasteful stuff that doesn't really help anybody and probably hurts us all in the long run. These Powerball winners buy insane houses they can't afford in the long run which just end up as run-down wastes with no value for anybody. The construction company might make a buck building and the gardener maintaining but that doesn't last forever. Once the work dries up and the house isn't maintained it doesn't really do anybody any good. Broken window fallacy in a way isn't it? Someone in California is about to find out. Single winning ticket sold there. Back to work tomorrow to me. I see you're thinking about the prize money. I guess I'm more concerned with the ticket sales it took to generate the prize. Multiple billions given to the government for them to squander away on programs handed to cronies. Not sure I agree with that picture being good for society or the economy. Let's not forget the extremely high chance of a lottery winners being murdered or going flat broke within years. Traditional billionaires make their money by saving, saving money is inherently bad for the economy. Everything they do is in an attempt to make and save more money. Every post about the Powerball jackpot was anti-trickle down. Contact a lawyer and accountant. But Reddit taught me that all billionaires are pure evil with waxy moustaches and swimming pools filled with gold coins. I was gonna buy a motorhome if I won and travel the country and pay school lunch debts, pay layaways off, buy people's groceries and whatever else I could come up with. Seeing as lottery winnings are taxed at minute 25, yes they undoubtedly are. No one needs that much money. I dream of the good things I could do with it. Absolutely. First thing I would do is get purses and bonds for my whole family and friend fam group. LOL what a dumb take considering a lot of billionaires have created their wealth through businesses that provide jobs. People are so damn delusional these days. I hate how people act like billionaires are horrible people who cheat the system. In reality, they pay more taxes than any of you pay, maybe less in percentage but still more, and they provide hundreds of jobs. Traditional billionaires build the businesses that keep the economy afloat. They are the businesses the government taxes to fund everything they spend.